So let's start off by looking around the case itself. So it is quite a stylish case and um, I would like to thank the guys at mobilefarm.co.uk for sending this out for review. I have done a full review of it and I will put links of that in the video description. So let's get to it. As you can see it's qu it looks very stylish and I find it to look very classy. I don't know why but it just looks, it has that high quality feel. It's made out of a nice feeling fabric and as you can see it kind of adds to the whole classy feel because it has a button hook combination to basically close the case and uh, that is basically all it, all it is it's a case it's more of it's like a sleeve for your iPad so let's try getting the iPad okay, in we have my iPad and let's start off without the smart cover because it does say on their website at mobilefund.co.uk that this is compatible with the smart cover but let me just quickly show you without it and then with it and then you can see what kind of problem you might have so here it is without the without the without the smart case and as you can see it just slides in very nicely button over the top and that is basically it so like I said it fits in quite nicely it doesn't add any kind of like with the iPad in the case it doesn't add any bulk whatsoever it's quite easy to hold and it won't really slip out of your hand I found it quite easy to hold when I was traveling with my iPad in this case and I had no issues. Um, I think the flap could have been a bit more like lower like as you can see there's quite a lot of give in this if it was a bit more flat down maybe have a little bit of a velcro strap here with the button combination I don't know so that is how it is without the smart case now let's take it out and put the smart case on and I'll show you some kind of an a bit of an issue you might have if you have it with a smart case so here is the Apple uh, smart cover sorry I keep calling it the smart case for some reason so yeah this is the smart cover clamp it on and you're done and now look when I try putting it into the cup into the case like you can't tell on camera but there's a lot of friction between the smart case and the uh, smart case smart cover and the actual felt case you have to really push your iPad with a bit of force to get it in it does go in but like I said it requires a lot of force and again no bulk is really added and obviously it's it's easy to take out it's just a bit tricky when it comes to actually putting it in and uh, another thing I noticed where, with this case was I don't know if we'll be able to let's try let me try zooming it in and then focusing it okay how much can I zoom in there like can you see this uh, the stitching on the button that started coming off for me like can you see those two holes are meant to have a thread going across that came out on the first on the second or third day which I don't know why that was I did I wasn't really like being aggressive with the with the case it just it was quite it was a bit loose like you know how you have loose string it went loose so and then I tried sorting it out I thought maybe it just needs to get put back in but then it just ended up coming out so that's made the button a bit flimsy but other than that it's it's not really made the button come off or anything so there's no issue there so that was just a quick review video review of the uh, Harman felt case for the iPad 2 and iPad 3 um, full written review will be in the link below so check that out and I'll see you again another time in another video take care